Hello, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for paying uh, attention to our. I will. I have a great opportunity and pleasure to be speaking today with Megan Dawn. Good afternoon, Megan. How are you? Hello, Pierre. Good to see you again. Same here. Same here. Uh, Megan is going to be the uh, uh, the retreat uh, uh, presenter for the Rise of the Divine Feminine Retreat that we're doing uh, the following weekend, and that we June. 2nd, 3rd, and 4th at the Gayaville Retreat Center. And I wanted to take this opportunity to actually talk to Megan and give you an opportunity to know her. Uh, she's, an, I, I communicated with you um, uh, recently online after doing multiple searches and I happened to write you uh, an email and tell you what I was planning to do and synchronistically you were, you had the intention of being in the same geographical area around that time and we kind of meshed right mm -hmm. uh and mm -hmm. so I, mm -hmm. I you know spirit orchestrated this very beautifully so megan for those of us uh for, for, the, for our, our community who are not aware of you uh tell us a little bit about your journey toward the the assimilation of the um the feminine energy <laughs> well, I was brought up in New Zealand on a farm, um, so that was a very early introduction um, and coming from Celtic heritage to Mother Earth and to the creatures. Um, so for me, the divine feminine began really with that deep connection to Earth. Um, and of course, we had our Christian, at that point, Presbyterian uh, upbringing, which was a little dry. <laughs> so uh, um, I experimented and went out kind of on the Eastern route, as many do, um, but really wanted to know where this wisdom was in Christianity. It must be there. It is a wisdom tradition. Um, so I came into Catholicism, interestingly enough, where very strong women mystics have been throughout the ages. Um, so I came in through that portal and connected with these incredible mystics um, mm. and, and walked the path with them and developed a very contemplative uh, practice in nature there. And then I was drawn deeper into the wisdom tradition um, of the Gnostic and the Tree of Life, the Kabbalistic mysteries. Mm -hmm. And that lit my fire. <laughs> it was like, mm -hmm. aha, here is the feminine in her purified form, in her strength. Mm -hmm. um, standing equally with the masculine mm. and so it was just a, a great freedom for me um, mm. and continues to be so as I continue on this path. Beautiful, beautiful. I, I know one of the things that attracted me to, to you is that as I was searching for uh, speakers for the retreat as I was planning it was the fact that in your book, uh, the, the Rise, uh, uh, The New Divine Feminine, I, I saw, read your understanding of the, and your presentation about the power of the Divine Feminine uh, in its role, an uh, equal role to the masculine. And this is the thing that I, w I wanted to communicate. And I wanted to have a speaker to address this. And I'm, I'm so grateful that you will be uh, presenting this uh, to our, our community of um, uh, souls, or female soul, that will be attending um, our, our, um, our retreat. Um, I wanted to ask you, um, somebody coming in that is interested in the, that kind of work, what, what should they expect from you? The unexpected. <laughs> and I will actually I think how I will answer that is is to take you into a little experience uh, a, a little prayer um, and open up some of the energies that we'll work with um, for me the great cosmic womb of the cosmic mother is a very important place 
for all beings, women and everybody, to learn to connect with, to learn to uh, find their sanctuary within. So yes, we have these physical wombs and bodies, and we are also so deeply connected to the great cosmic womb and mother, where all potential life form exists. Mm -hmm. And so it is a great place for us to become not only familiar with, but intimate with. Mm. It's like the micro and macrocosm of the great womb of life, you know, where the great life force is. So um, I would like to introduce very briefly here one of the archangels uh, we work with who is called Mumia, Mumia, and she is the womb of God or the womb of the mother. So what she does is she brings in that energy, the womb-like energy that enfolds, that nourishes, that protects, mm -hmm. um, and also brings forward the life within. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to invite everybody to simply open to that energy. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take up a chant and please, if you feel to join in, please do so, or simply let the vibration of the chant enter you, right from the top of your head all the way through the whole of your body, so it becomes a full body experience. So if we go into our breath, taking it deep into the belly, Simply opening to the spaciousness of your being. And what I call the mother ground of being. This groundless ground, as some people may call it. The vastness of our nature. And we open to receive the energy of Mumia. Each one of us in our own way. And the chant is Ma Ya, Ma Ya, Mumia. And these come from the Hebrew letters, the meme or the M is that waters of the feminine, that creative womb-like waters. Ya comes from Yud, which is the most powerful force of the universe. So we really are entering into that powerful force of the divine feminine cosmic womb. Mahaya Mahaya Mumia Mahaya Mahaya Mumia Mahaya Mahaya Mumia Mahaya Mahaya Mahamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamamam
Maya, 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 Maya. Breathing in that vibration. Allowing it to filter into every cell of your body. Opening to the great cosmic womb of existence. The potential of your own life form. A potential you may not have even imagined. A potential far and beyond the smallness of your mind and nature. Simply breathing it in. We don't have to do anything here, but simply be. And as you are ready, gently opening your eyes, feeling your body. Feeling the difference in your body, in your being. Thank you. Thank you. I am so I am so I'm full for the full full. I lost you there a little bit in communication, but I, I would just like to uh, say here from from this place we'll be opening the doorway into the timeless spaceless nature of the garden of eden our own nature of paradise where we're going to discover eve and lilith the light face of the feminine with eve and the dark face with lilith and really opening to their original nature. So we've had, I think, that it's been brought forth in our society, their false nature, or the negative of their nature, and obviously the negative of the feminine. So in this retreat, we're going to delve very deeply into the original nature, the curiosity of Eve, the vision of her wisdom, her awe and wonder, and her ability to listen to her inner voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with Lilith, we're going to return to the true strength, the true natural power, where she embodies the wisdom of Eve. She brings it into the physical. Lilith being that snake and the true life force energy, the kundalini energy. And so we're going to work with these energies within ourselves um, because what I experience within myself and so many is that even Lilith are still in their negative form within us. And they're at enmity with one another mm -hmm. and at enmity with Adam. The masculine. So we're going to really delve very deeply to bring back that original nature, to bring back where we're not in conflict internally. Mm -hmm. So the truth of the dark face can come out, which is not just our shadow, it's our strength, it's a deeper radiant darkness of wisdom. And in this way, when we can be at peace with our feminine and dark faces, light and dark faces, only then can we be at peace and at harmony with the masculine. Mm -hmm. So um, it's, a, it's an imperative journey and there are many other faces of course, 
Apollos. This is the sacred daughter we're going to be really working with. There's the mother, the crone, the true essence. But until we get some kind of peace treaty going on between Eve and Lilith, <laughs> Everything else kind of eludes us, you know? So remembering that Lilith actually was the original divine emanation of the family. So we're going to have a wonderful exploration, mm. um, bringing forward the true strength, awe and wonder, and the confidence of listening to our own inner voice. Yeah. Beautiful, absolutely stunning, and um, I this is a st this extraordinary present uh, presentation. I do hope those of you who are watching this will join us again. The date of the retreat is uh, June second, third, and fourth. The link to which will be attached uh, in the description of the video. Uh, do join us, and I am so excited myself. And thank you for this incredible chant. I felt the energy. The moment, the moment you begin to speak of the archangel, I could feel it cascading down. I could feel myself literally being enveloped. Uh, so I'm, I, yes. I'm going to be around as the only man in the house or, around during the retreat. I feel extremely privileged. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you <laughs> next week, Megan. Okay? Thank, Thank you. Thank you. And welcome all who are going to join us. Okay.